we like to we'd like to um, you know if, if you looked at your program at all, uh, we're going to introduce you to some students, and um, you know to have them um, talk a little bit about some programs and the effect that it's had on their uh, on their life. So here in a little bit of student voice. So first, I'd like to introduce Drew. Uh, Drew is a third grader from Deerfield. Hold up. And Drew is going to talk a little bit about mindfulness and and the effect it's had on him. So, but first, we're going to um, show a short little video. Adults can get stressed from work, kids, money, and so much more. And yes, even little kids can get stressed out with schoolwork, testing, even teasing. But as some students are learning, there is a way to focus and calm your frazzled spirit. Here's today's Living a Better Life. Once you're, once you're going up, once you're up, you breathe in, and when you're going down, you exhale. Eight-year-old Drew Verto demonstrates mindful breathing. Like that. There were some important characters in the story. His teacher, Sherry Grissinger, at Deerfield Elementary School in the Novi Community School District, wanted to find a way to help her students settle into learning. They would come out of the lunchroom and things would be crazy, so that was really my focus is after lunch. What could we do after lunch to get them calmed down from recess and ready for learning in the afternoon? Start with some mindful breathing. She knew retired teacher Carol Lafferty had become a mindfulness instructor and invited her to give her second graders some lessons. So, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is all about paying attention to what is happening in the present moment, right now. Stop first, take a couple of breaths, and it only takes a few seconds before they can start to think, oh, I have choices. Two years later, the kids are still using what they learned. If you're in a rush, you can calm down and do it while you're walking there. Or if you're just standing and sitting, you can do it, breathe for a bit, and then go play or whatever. What do you love most about being mindful? Um, it lets your worries go away. It went so well, the Novi Educational Foundation approved Mrs. Grissinger's grant to teach all of Deerfield Elementary second graders mindfulness last year. The assistant superintendent even noticed a difference with his child. Yeah, and I said, hey, what would you like to do? And he's like, I'd like to practice mindful breathing. And kind of snapped, <laughs> right? what are you talking about? <laughs> Next thing I know, he pops up into full lotus on the couch, and he is engaging in what he learned from Miss Carol. And remember Drew? He says it even helped him deal with bullies. I would step aside and use mindfulness to kind of calm down, and then it. They noticed, and the bullying stopped. How many of you do mindfulness? All of you. How many of you think your parents should learn mindfulness? Oh yeah. Unanimous. Yes, even adults can practice mindfulness. Good evening everyone. Hi, I am Drew Rato, a third grader at Deerfield Elementary School. Thank you so much, Eddie M for giving me this wonderful opportunity to come and talk about mindfulness. So, what is mindfulness anyways? Well, my teacher, Miss Carol, taught me that mindfulness is being in the present moment. Taking a deep breath, being aware of your surroundings and body is just one part. The practice is designed to reduce stress, anxiety, negative emotions, as well as helps you cool down. One of the strategies is 7-Eleven breathing. That's where you breathe in for seven seconds and you breathe out for 11 seconds. So this helps us sharpen our concentration skills. And the best part of it all is that we can do it anywhere, at home, at the movie theater, at the shopping mall, anywhere. I even practice these techniques with, with my family at home. And to me personally, mindfulness has helped me in many ways. Whenever I was bullied, instead of reacting, I would step back, calm down, breathe, and then act. Eventually, the bullying stopped. I have become more mindful, which has helped me become a better leader. So thank you parents for your generous donations. 
It is much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, Drew has um, one additional gift that he would like to share with all of us. Mindfulness. 